The Earth's atmosphere is a thin layer of gases around our planet. It is what makes life possible on Earth. But on other planets, the story is very different. While Earth has blue skies, white clouds, and at worst wind speeds of 253 miles per hour, other planets can have very different and extreme weather patterns in their atmospheres. First, let's take a look at the skies. Sky color can range anywhere from blue to red to black. On Mercury, the sky is always black like night on Earth. Even in the day, when the sun is out, other stars are visible too. This is because there is no atmosphere to scatter light off of like on Earth. Therefore, there is nothing in the way of stars shining during the day. However, Sol is six and a half times brighter on Mercury than it is on Earth. As a result, trying to look at the stars near where Sol is would be painful. On Venus, the sky is orange. This is because of an extreme version of the Rayleigh scattering that makes our sky blue. Around sunrise and sunset, the sky looks orange because the sunlight must pass through more atmosphere. On Venus, there is so much atmosphere that it is always like a sunrise or sunset. In the sky, there are no stars day or night. Also, it is impossible to see Sol, just like Earth on an overcast day. Next, we get to Mars. On Mars, the sky is a butterscotch color during the day and a blue color around sunrise and sunset. This is not due to Rayleigh scattering. On Mars, the atmosphere is so thin that Rayleigh scattering is not an important effect. The reason for these colorings is that the Martian atmosphere is filled with a lot of dust. As a result, twilight lasts very long because sunlight can creep over the horizon by bouncing off of dust particles. On Mars, Sol is 43% as bright as on Earth, but it is still bright enough to look like an overcast day. At night, you can see the stars, but not during the day. The gas giants have very thick atmospheres and no discernible surface. When deep inside one of them, it is kind of like the sky conditions on Venus, except instead of orange, it will be whatever color the gas giant's atmosphere is. Higher up, there would be interesting sights in the skies. First off, Sol would appear much dimmer and smaller. In order, it would appear 3.5% as bright, 1% as bright, a quarter of a percent as bright, and one tenth of a percent as bright as on Earth. That may seem dim, but compared to a full Luna viewed from Earth, even Sol from Neptune is 400 times brighter. Second, all of the moons that the gas giants have floating around their systems will be prominent in the skies. Jupiter has almost 70 of them, and counting. This also means that eclipses are super common on these gas giants. Next, let's take a look at weather patterns. These can get extremely violent depending on the planet. Mercury is not that planet. The weather forecast on Mercury is that there is no weather. Without an atmosphere, there is no wind or fog or rain. Venus is that planet. One of the most prominent aspects of Venusian weather is the rain. On Venus, it rains sulfuric acid from clouds of sulfuric acid. You don't need an acid-proof umbrella, though, because on Venus, it is so hot that the rain evaporates before hitting the ground. On Venus, it is 864 degrees Fahrenheit, day or night. Not much variability. On Mars, there are dust storms, but unlike in the movies, they aren't as powerful as you'd think. The top wind speed on Mars is around 60 miles per hour, which doesn't even register as Category 1 on our hurricane scale. Also, the air on Mars is less than 1% as thick as the air on Earth. Therefore, while 60 mile per hour winds on Earth might give you quite a push, on Mars it would barely even register. And that is the top wind speed. What dust storms do do is block out Sol, making it even colder than it already is on Mars. The gas giants have very intense weather because they are so large and because their day lengths are around half as long as Earth's. With size and fast spinning, a lot of energy is generated. More specifically, the Coriolis effect creates turbulent weather. That is what gives us the great red spot and great blue spot on Jupiter and Neptune, as well as the hexagonal polar storms on Saturn. All of these storms are so large that they span the size of Earth or many Earths and have crazy wind speeds, the highest being Neptune with 1200 mile per hour winds. Also, these storms can last for decades or centuries. As you can see, other planets have crazy skies and weather patterns. I always find it interesting to imagine what the sky would look like on extraterrestrial worlds.